After yesterday's lackluster session, which saw the Sensex and Nifty end mostly flat, the movement today and here on is likely to remain stock specific as more companies announce their September quarter results. Today, markets will take note of India's retail inflation data for September and industrial output numbers for August. Both were released post market hours yesterday. But the bulk of the spotlight today will be on the IT stocks, with Infosys and Wipro announcing their quarterly earnings. Analysts expect a near 20% year on year jump in revenue for Infosys in the recently concluded quarter on contribution from its Deemler deal, higher adoption of digital transformation by clients anticipated broad-based growth across verticals and strong seasonality. Revenue guidance is likely to be increased for a third straight time. Net profit jump, meanwhile, could range between 7% and 10%. For Wipro, revenue growth projections range between 25% and 29% year-on-year. According to analysts, revenue growth will be driven by the ramp-up of large deals along with contribution from Capco and Ambion acquisitions. Corporate results apart, rising crude oil prices, which breached the $84 per barrel mark yesterday, and the potential threat of a power crisis back home due to coal shortage issues, would also have a bearing on the market sentiment in the near term. Meanwhile, India's equity market is on the cusp of overtaking the UK's in market capitalization. India's MCAP has surged 37% this year to $3.46 trillion, according to data from Bloomberg. Now, that's closing in on the UK, which has seen an increase of about 9% to $3.59 trillion, though the number is much larger if secondary listings and depository receipts are included. The Sensex and Nifty had respectively hit the 60,000 and 18,000 levels recently. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.